Hey, what's going on guys? I just figured I'd bring another video here. Today I'm going to be doing, uh, thankfully, something different. Um, I'm actually going to be working on a Toshiba P55W B5224. Uh, this came to me uh, with it. Basically, it doesn't do anything. It, well, scratch that. It, it, it does have a charge LED, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't, like, you press the power button, it doesn't do absolutely nothing. Um, from what I've been told, there was some liquid spilled in it, so uh, basically I have came to the conclusion, I believe that the board is probably fried, so I have a replacement there. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what we're going to do, is just going to swap out this board and uh, get this thing working. So I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and we'll get started. Alright guys, so basically, obviously, we're going to start out with uh, removing the board. Um, pretty much everything has been disconnected already, because they've already worked on this quite a bit to diagnose it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to keep my head out of this as much as I can. As you guys you probably know, I mean, a lot of my videos have my head in it because of the fact that I'm trying to work and see what I'm doing. So I'll try not to do that this time. Um, so yeah, let's get started with that. Got my little trusty screwdriver set here. Of course, my nice little handy dandy, uh, I don't know if you can see that, you can't really see the screen, so my nice little handy dandy uh, wrist, uh, anti side wrist strap there. And uh, yeah, you want to make sure you're grounded because you do not want to fuck this up by, you know, sh shorting it out because then you're going to be back to square one. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and I believe the only square I have to remove is that one here because that's the only one I put back in. And, oh yeah, I gotta remove the heat sink still too, damn it. Uh, I forgot about that, because I was trying to, I was gonna diagnose, oh, jeez, my, uh, other random ass freaking screws in there. Yeah, I don't mind my language, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, I just, I don't really censor myself much in my videos, and I apologize for anybody who is offended. I am usually generally professional when I work with customers, though. I don't usually curse, so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, heat sink, because it needs to come off. Because, obviously, we have to take the board. No, 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 no. That's what it works. Try to remember to do it in an X pad, and I always forget. But, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter when you're taking it off, per se, but putting it on, you probably should get it out. Um, yeah. Five card out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna put this little piece of tape here. Knock that off. Fans are removed. Fan, fan cables are removed. The uh, connector here. So it should be good. Should be able to just. Slide this right out now. Gently. And obviously, I have to remove the uh, old thermal paste to reapply it once I uh, finish the repair. Fans got virtually no dust in it, which is good. Uh, so, put this aside for now. Try not to knock my screws off of my. Uh, work area here, that would not be good. Now this board is kind of tricky to get back in here, so don't be surprised if you guys see me fumbling with it a little bit, because it is a little, uh... Oh, crap. You also don't want to do that either. Uh, okay, where did that go? I have no idea. That's unfortunate. It's somewhere on here, I'll find it. Where'd you go? Thankfully, this, is, this thing is not powered up, that's all I can say. Because that would be really, really bad. Take, take it from me, don't drop screws on your motherboard. Ah, so, it's probably on the board somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to slide this out. Much it like be like underneath instead of on top of it. So, yeah. I gotta take this out first on this side here. It's always tricky to get this board out too, so. And it's got this little notch here you gotta work with. And then you gotta pull it up. And 
away from it, you just don't want to want it too hard because you want to break stuff. So just gonna be gentle with it. Okay, what are we stuck on here besides that notch? I think that's the, that that's what's holding me back is that notch though. This little notch over here next to where the screw hole is is what, what's holding me back at the moment. It did this to me the last time I went to take it out initially. Um, I was wondering, well, Joe, why did you take it out, uh, put it back in to begin with? Well, because I was trying to diagnose it with another switch or another laptop, and it turned out the switch wasn't compatible, which doesn't really surprise me because it's they're usually not. I was just trying to add last ditch, a last, a last ditch effort before I had to replace the board because I didn't really think it'd be something that would be easy to do. Well, it's not that hard. But. And look, remember, what, what did I just say? Didn't I just say watch it be underneath? And that's where it was. <laughs> Go figure. Put that over here. I'm going to put the old board over here, which I'm not too worried about selling electricity for it, because, it, like I said, it doesn't work anyway. So basically I just put it on my bed, which probably... Again, it's, it's don't do that if you're working. You know, I just got I just got to be, you know, honest. Don't be being stupid. Not saying anybody's stupid. I'm just saying, just don't be stupid when you're working on this stuff. Because trust me, I've done that, and it's not funny. Because you end up screwing stuff up. Of course, that was back when I first started doing all this. Back when I was in high school. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull out the new board here and uh, try to get it in as carefully as possible. Okay, why are you stuck to the intostatic guy? What the hell? What? Uh, oh, it's, it's the... It's the, um... The what you call it? That's, that plastic stuff that's on the bottom of the board that keeps it uh, from being... making contact with the case. Or the laptop. That's what it is. That makes sense, which I don't recall that being there in the old one, but it probably is. So, I'm right, going to make sure everything's out of the way and not going to get caught up, because that would be really, really annoying. For lack of a better term here. Okay. Yep, see what I mean? Stuff already trying to get caught up and get in the way and all that stuff. I don't want that. It's definitely not what you want when you're trying, trying to work on stuff. If I remember correctly, what I did before to get the other one back in with it, that lined it up with the USB ports. And I kind of just slid it into place. Okay, go in at an angle. There we go. Now that, of course, you got wires and rings, but you've got to make sure they don't try to sneak away on you, because if they do, it becomes pretty apparent that you're going to have a problem at that point. I'm trying to remember what. This connector, there should be a ribbon cable right here if I'm not mistaken. Hold on one second, let's check the other board and make sure that's something that is a, a yep, it's just a brown connector. Alright, so I definitely have a ribbon cable there. Or some kind of connection I have to find that I haven't found yet. That's something you always gotta keep in mind when you're working on these things, especially with laptops, because they tend to that's stuff that tries to hide. And here we go, here it is right here. Found it. Okay, on that side. That, that, that. Let's this in like so. Or attempt to with it. See, everything's got to get in the way and not cooperate. Just tell them. Okay, come on. Okay. Should, i got to make sure that that notch is in place. Otherwise, I will not be able to get it back in. I'm going to try to work it in there. Just, I mean, you got to lift it up, but you don't want to lift it up too much because then you have these trying to get away. And, yeah. It's not something you want. Okay. Okay. Right, there we go. Okay, everything is... Oh, we're missing that white connector again. Crap. Now, 
why, oh why does everything have to be such a pain? Why? Why can't stuff just cooperate and not be a pain? Does anybody know the answer to that? Because I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. It's seated right. That's seated right. That's that. Okay, I'll just go there. You are going to go right here when we're done. And uh, you are supposed to go over here. It looks like we're good, so now start reconnecting stuff and making sure stuff isn't caught underneath the board still, like this is over here. There we go. Just reconnect it, and I am missing my SATA connection over there. Hopefully, I'm not in the frame too much. Just reconnect all this stuff. Usually not too difficult to do. It's just a matter of being gingerly, but of course everything's gotta get stuck. As I said, that happens with a lot of stuff. You got you just gotta be mindful of it. And of course, as I'm saying that, I'm not even being mindful of it, so take it from me, be mindful of it. Do as I say, not as I do, basically. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at. As you can see, you can see that even though I've done this before, well, not this laptop, but I've, I've worked on the laptops before. They, you know, everyone's different, so you gotta try to basically roll with the punches with them because they can tend to be, you know, they they, they you know like, like to throw stuff at you. Like here, how about you try this on for size, and you're like, okay, well, I I just I just want it to go smoothly. The laptop's like, nope, sorry. So we also have this guy here, which I did again. Make sure it was not ah crap. <laughs> and of course that pulled out. Okay, word of advice, don't don't do that. <laughs> because the reason why is because it's actually potentially potentially bad for the cable because if you rip the cable you screw. So don't do that. I'm trying to get you don't want to rip cables, so Always make sure your, all your cables are above your board before you go pulling on it when, you re when you're connecting other cables. And, uh, yeah, as I said before, do as I say, not as I do. Shit. It's got a little lip thing here. Hold on one second. Get in there, you. You didn't get in there, did you? I don't think you did. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so now we've got almost everything connected. Almost. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to spare you guys this. I'm going to finish doing this off camera and I will get back to you guys. Alright, guys. So, I got uh, pretty much everything connected here except for these connections here, this connection, and this guy over here. Oh, not this guy, sorry. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to look through my viewfinder on my screen here. These two connections are not connected because they are going to be connected after I install the heatsink and fan because they have to be routed through the, uh, around the, uh, the fan, so. But I've got pretty much else, everything else, uh, installed. I got the hard drive installed, the RAM's reinstalled, all the screws are in, and the rest of the cables are plugged in. So that's good, except for the battery, of course. You do not want to apply power to this while you're trying to work on it for obvious reasons. Again, you don't want to be back at square one, so that's going to be waiting until last. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I am going to go ahead and clean off that thermal paste off that heat sink there, and then I will basically install it, and I will show you guys that after I'm finished with that. So, uh... Just give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so um, sorry I didn't uh, show you guys uh, when I put in the uh, heatsink and all that, but I uh, kind of got caught up in doing other things and wanted to get this uh, squared away uh, for the night. But um, 
did manage to get everything uh, connected properly and as you guys will see it actually does fire up so it's good to see and I'm very happy it's very I love the feeling of accomplishment when you you know when you get stuff done and it, it actually does work uh, so I don't know, I'm just like high off accomplishment right now, I don't know. I'm just really happy. It's been, I mean, it's been a really crappy day for me. Uh, so to have this work and for me to not have to stress about it anymore is actually really awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, have a good day.